The Rogaldorn is the latest and greatest tank for the Imperial Guard. If you've got the Cadia stands box, you'll have the rules, or you can just go on Wahapedia. It's certainly been positioned as an auto take in any army, and while it's not been released yet, it'll be between 50 or 60 pounds in the UK. I've got a 3D printed one, and it's lovely. Bigger than I thought, to be honest. And works out to be about 20 to 25 pounds in the UK just for the resin costs. Let's look at why this is such an R to include. At 250 points, it's a very efficient gun platform because of the amount of firepower that you can get coming from it. It's therefore worth spending on extra weapons and upgrades. 15 points per multi-melter can be worth it if you intend to push it forwards. And the upgrades of 15 to 25 points to be a tank case makes sense. Just a note, I'm doing a channel giveaway for Christmas, so check that video out next. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of the video. Thinking about the best loadout, it seems the best turret gun is the oppressor cannon and coaxial auto cannon. This is because of the amount of firepower it's got coming out at the 3 plus ballistic skill, and of course shooting out of combat now with the turret roll. And the Gatling cannon is a nice anti-horde gun, can also shoot into combat as it's not blast, and generally weight of dice works here. But the pulverizer cannon is probably the best against more varied targets. Some useful upgrades that you definitely want to be taking. Vaunted Praetorian for 15 points. Become an officer and issue an order to other tanks, or to yourself. Knight of Piety for 25 points. Gives the tank a 5 plus invun, a 5 plus feel no pain against mortal wounds. This is one that's really going to make it resilient, since it's already T9 with the 2 plus save, and at the time of making this video it's also got Armour of Contempt, although it's likely that will go soon. And couple this with a 5 point upgrade to give it a plus 1 to save against damage 1 weapons, this tank is going nowhere. A Meticulous Calibrator for 20 points, you can ignore cover when shooting, that's always nice. You've got some really cool stratagems that you're going to use a lot, Smoke Launchers for 1 CP, minus 1 to hit, Relentless for 1 CP, Fight on Full Profile, always cool. An ingrained precision for 1 CP, this is for born soldiers regiments only, it means you auto wound on a 5 plus, not a 6. You can also consider an engine save for that extra resilience, returning D3 wounds a turn, and also giving it a 5 plus invun. So is the Rogal Dawn going to be in your army? See you in soon, bye!